back in 1990 or so, I had a conversation that really informed a lot of my thinking. I uh, was talking to George Draffin, with whom I wrote a couple books, and um, we're talking about the killing of fur-bearing mammals in North America and how the population just was absolutely devastated as soon after the Europeans arrived. And he said that a lot of the actual killing was done by Indians, a lot of the killing of the beavers and otters and everybody else. And I responded with much righteousness and said, that's really racist to argue that the Indians are at fault. And he said, I'm not blaming them. And also, it's not racist to simply state facts. It's just facts. And um, he said, the real important point here is that technology affects culture. I had not yet read Mumford, so this is pretty new to me. And he said, as soon as you introduce that, yes, a lot of indigenous people did have long-term sustainable relationships with the lands where they lived. But as soon as the Europeans came in and they introduced metal pots, metal knives, guns, horses, that changed their relationship to their land bases. And when you change, when you introduce technologies, that changes your culture. And so a lot of these Indians wanted the Hudson Bay blankets. They wanted the um, metal pots, knives, they wanted the guns. And so they would trap animals and sell them to the white people. And not all, of course, but the point is that we can't think of indigenous people as some mystical, magical beings who somehow through mystical, magical means had sustainable relationships with the places where they live. No, humans have culture and those cultures can cause us to lead us to behave in certain ways. And when you introduce new technologies that affects the culture and sometimes can do so in a negative way. And the real point is that once you introduce consumer culture to any place on the planet, it's all over. <laughs>